It's approximately 1.35 p.m. on Saturday, the 29th of August, 2020. I'm just standing in front of the lagoon. That's what the Gold Coast City Council calls this body of water, which is located at North Kira Beach. I'll just pan the video down here so you can get an idea of just what the extent of this great lagoon looks like. Yep, there you go, dead fish. Any wonder, you wouldn't even want to uh, go in there and touch anything in here. What I'd also like to draw everyone's attention to is just look at the actual, uh, what's happened to the actual sediment here. What's happened to the beach in terms of what it used to be like. Over here, I just poured some normal beach sand down, which is just, you know, basic silica. Beach sand, as you know, uh, is just, just flickers straight out of your fingers. You can't even grip it. You couldn't pick that up even if you wanted to. But if you look just down here where I've just taken a little piece out just before, I'll just pick up the top of it and have a look at that. Just look at this piece here. And it's full of, you know, mineral sands and stuff. It's probably a bit of ilmenite and rutile and something else. But it actually feels like a crust, like a bit of pizza. I mean, that's transformation of what this area has now happened to. And that's because this body of, you know, ghastly water has just been allowed to sit here over many, many, many years. It's virtually transformed this whole uh, part of the beach. Again, here's a fresh part here. I'll uh, go in here with my hand pull out a piece again and have a look it's just all together doesn't want to fall apart like normal sand that's because it's all sort of stuck together with this sort of crust on the top of it it's really ugly dreadful stuff and if I just take the pan and move a little bit down here you can see directly ahead that's where the June restoration is so had this particular uh, lagoon not been here of course then I'd be standing on vegetation. And you can see here at the moment, there's actually not a lot of the body of water and that's because it's slowly but surely either evaporated or it's made its way out to sea. But this uh, current landmass in front of me normally is also underwater. And you can also tell just from the color, you know, there's beach sand, you know, in the um, foreground there. We go to the immediate contrast here. So you can see how it's slowly but surely getting transformed because of the body of water. So I've been on the council's back since early July about what they're going to do to rectify this problem. You can see over there, that's where the pipe is and that's where the water from the Coolangatta Creek runs off and comes out to here. And basically every fortnight, someone in an excavator goes out near to the, you know, the water line, the, the sea line, cuts a channel and then it lets it all flow out to sea. Uh, slowly but surely, we're getting a little bit of interest from council and uh, I've also been chatting to the, our current state member and uh, there's definitely now uh, some interest in possibly getting something done about this on a more permanent scale. Uh, not much more really to report. Uh, as I say, a picture's worth a thousand words, but you can clearly see it's not a nice sight here at all. And remember, I'm actually at the Gold Coast World Surfing Reserve. That's what this part of Kira Beach is in, and yet, we have this sort of mess here. So that's enough for the day. I'll post this on YouTube. Hopefully a few people can check it out. But uh, slowly but surely we'll get something done here. Thanks.